everybody, Adam here with Hometown Acres. Welcome back. So if you saw in our last video, we got permission from my neighbor to go up and cut firewood on his property that he just had timbered about a week ago. And in that video, probably the most popular comment that I got from everybody in the comment section was, you need a hookeroon. Uh, and I can understand the reason why that was the most popular comment. Uh, we were cutting firewood anywhere from 10 to 15 feet away from the back of the side-by-side, -side, and we were carrying them by hand from where we were cutting to the back of the side-by-side -side to haul them out of the woods. So I have here a hookeroon. My mom actually got this for me about six months ago because people have been commenting that I've needed one for years now, and she reads all the comments too. So I've had this sitting in the, in the back of my garage. I've never got it out just because I'm 29 years old. I don't have those old man aches yet, but I've heard that once you hit 30, that changes. So since everybody was recommending that I use one of these, that's what we're gonna do today. We have probably two cords of wood to split. I don't think we're gonna get to split it all today, but I am gonna get to test out this hookeroon and see if I like using it around the log splitter. Stick around. So in that intro, I had a pile of logs sitting right here in front of the axis, and I have used the hookeroon now just to move all of those logs from the operator station over to the right over there. And tell you what, in the first five minutes, you guys were right, I am sold. Uh, that really beat the pants off of bending over, picking up all those logs. And not only that, but it keeps your gloves dry too. I mean, that's another kind of hidden secret behind the picaroon is it keeps your gloves dry. So anyway, I've got this pile of rounds here to split. I took the leaf blower and blew them all off to get most of the snow off of them. So we're gonna go ahead and split until I either get tired, we run out of wood, or uh, we've got a pile of wood underneath the axis here that uh, is too big that the conveyor won't discharge any more wood off of.
So yeah, that is the hookeroon around the Easton Mate axis. And all I gotta say again is you guys were right. You know, being 29 sometimes is a good thing because your body doesn't hurt and all that stuff, but also you lack a little bit of experience. And so that's why, you know, I really enjoy having this YouTube channel because I get some of you guys in here that are 50, 60, 70 years old who've been doing firewood a lot longer than I have that can point out a good tool when they see one. Uh, this one here is a council tool. I have an Amazon store and uh, how that works is, you know, you guys don't pay any extra for it, but if you buy something off of my Amazon store, we do get a little bit of a commission and it helps the channel out. But yeah, this council tool has a forged uh, hookeroon head on here and then it has a hickory handle on it. It's really nice. I mean, the handle on it's really nice. It's very ergonomically uh, pleasing to use, I guess I would say. Um, but it just seems like it really digs right into the wood, no problem at all. And I think what I'm gonna be using this most for is around the splitter and then going back in the woods and getting rounds because it really prevents you from having to bend over and roll logs or, or pick logs up and move them. You just hook right into them and then drag them. So it's a lot easier on your lower back. Now you do have a little bit more of, you know, when you're lifting up on the hookeroon, you got a little bit more shoulder action, but I'd rather have sore, so sore shoulders than a sore back. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, click that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out some other videos, and don't forget, go check out our Amazon store if you wanna get a council tool hookeroon, you won't regret it. Thanks for watching.